नमस्ते टू एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टुडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन प्रोबेबिलिटी लेक्चर नंबर वन इन व्हिच आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सपेरिमेंटल और एम्पिरिकल अप्रोच टू probability this is a coin this coin has two sides one side is called head and other side is called tail if we do an experiment by throwing this coin that is by tossing this coin we cannot predict that which side will appear head or tail here we get two types of outcomes head or tail appearance of head or tail so number of outcomes b2 head or tail and we cannot predict the outcome in advance this type of experiment is called random experiment therefore random experiment is an experiment number 1 an experiment in which there are more than one possible outcomes number 2 it is not possible to predict the outcome in advance now we will discuss about various terms related to experimental or empirical probability number 1 trial when we perform a random experiment then it is called a trial of the experiment number 2 elementary event an outcome of a trial is an elementary event for example if we toss a coin the possible outcomes are head or tail let e1 be the outcome is head and e to be outcome is tail then e1 and e2 are elementary events now we define compound event a collection of two or more possible outcomes of a trial of a random experiment is called compound event now we will give an example in support of compound event this is a cubical die this die has six faces 1 2 3 4 5 6 and each face is marked with either number 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 if we throw this die then outcomes may be 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 if e1 be an elementary event for getting the face marked with 2 e2 be an elementary event for getting the face marked with 4 and e3 be an elementary event for getting the face marked with 6 here 2 4 6 all are even number but 
here e1 e2 e3 all are elementary event and if we speak about that an event for getting an event number let e be an event getting the face mark with event number then this event will be the collection of events e1 e2 e3 means collection of elementary events event number b 2 4 or 6 so we have to take all these elementary events together this type of event is called compound event here e b a compound event so now we redefine compound event as a collection of two or more elementary events associated to an experiment is a compound event. Now we define empirical probability. Let E be an event for an experiment and let there be n trials such that the event E happens in M trials, M trials, then empirical probability of E is denoted by PE and mathematically defined as PE equal to M by N. M be the number of trials in which the event E happens and n be the total number of trials here it is obvious that m and n are number of trials n be the total number of trials so this is a non negative integer also m be number of trials in which the event E happens. So this is also a non-negative integer. But N is greater than equal to M. So we may write M is greater than equal to 0 and M is less than equal to N. If we divide N in each term, we get 0 by N less than equal to m by n is less than equal to n by n implies that here 0 here m by n here 1 implies that this is 0 this m by n is p e and this is 1 therefore probability of an event lies between 0 and 1. Now we will give an example. Example is 3 coins are tossed simultaneously 200 times with following frequencies of the different outcomes. Here we have written outcome. Outcomes are 3 heads, 2 heads, 1 head, no head. And frequency of these outcomes, outcomes 3 head, frequency 23. Outcome 2 heads, frequency 72. Outcome 1 head, frequency 77. Outcome no head, frequency 28. Frequency means the number of times this event happens. Means 3 head appear 23 number of times here two heads we have three coins let in any coin one head appear in other coin one head appear then the third coin in the third coin we get tail head head tail two heads means head head tail 
or head tail head anything this frequency means number of times two heads and one tail appear it's 72 this is one head one head means in one coin head appears in other two coins tail appear means in one coin head other tt tail this event occurs 77 number of times no head means in each coin tail appear this event is occurred 28 number of times now we have to find the probability of getting number one three heads number two two heads and one tail number three at least two heads number four at most two heads let this event is denoted by a means three heads appear this event is a this event is b this event is c and this event is d now p a this is number one p a the event is three heads appear three heads appear 23 number of times so the probability will be 23 and total number of trial be 200 and this will be equal to 0 0.165 number two two heads and one tail here we see that two heads two heads means two head and another coin one tail so pb will be probability of b will be 72 by 200 the 72 by 200 is 0 0.36 number 3 number 3 at least two heads at least two heads means it may be two head or three head that means PC is two heads means 72 and three heads means 23 by 200 72 plus 23 is 95 by 200 and this is equal to 0 0.475 number 4 at most 2 heads means maximum number of head is 2 so in this case we get no head 1 head and 2 heads maximum 2 heads so we add these PD PD equal to 28 plus 77 plus 72 by 200 and this is equal to 177 by 200 and this is equal to 0 0.885 in our next lecture we will solve many problems such that we do not feel any difficulty to solve the problems thanks for watching my video if you are satisfied with my presentation and contents then please click on like button and do subscribe my youtube channel thank you